wondering if, my, if it's set up right for the vision here. Really? Does it look like it's hitting that? How'd you guys, uh, how'd you guys come in? You came off the Waimanalu or? Oh, over here? Okay. Do you see the waves? There was like a, a portion of storm out there that was literally like encompassing a certain area of the ocean. And it just looked like it was, it was like dwelling up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks pretty, pretty awesome. So excited! So excited! Pace yourself, buddy. <laughs> yeah, it's been bad the last couple of days. So you guys see uh, the Cocoa Head Crater inside there is a botanical garden. I don't know how much you guys know about this park. There's Cocoa Head Crater is where the hike is on the back side. There's also a giant garden in there as well as a st uh, stable. Say hi to the horses. There's also like a, a seasonal um, and regional garden in there. So they have like all these plants and stuff from like different areas. There's a lot of cactuses in there. It's Pele's throne. Pele, you know, the god of volcanoes and a number of other Hawaiian lore creator of the islands. Yeah, he sits on that throne and overlooks his kingdom. Of course, you got Sandy's over there, where the most professional surfers go. Yeah. And just know a lot of stuff about it. It's awesome. And then, uh, And then back over here, there's a, a hike that you can go to the top of that hill. And that's where people jump off and you'll see them uh, uh, wind, wind surfing. They'll take their giant uh, giant parachutes. I don't think it's wind surfing. I, I don't know what the, the phrase for it is, but they'll take their giant pi uh, parachutes and have a, a cradle. It's sort, of like, it's sort of like paragliding, but without a harness. Yeah, no. So they, they, they do that. It's beautiful. You can see the shoreline where the water is just like rushing up against the sides. So you get the rain over there in Kaneohe. Hopefully you can see the rain. And once again, the top of the, the hike for Wamanalo Beach. People jump off and do the parasailing, windsurfing, whatever you want to call it. Huh? Come here. Come here, wife. How you feeling? Uh, don't touch me. I'm hot. More water in the rocks. Crying rocks. You guys can see why this is a great place to spawn whales. Yeah, we're gonna actually go all the way up to Makahu and then when we come back down, we'll head down and do Dragon's Nostrum. But if you guys are wanting to do it, it's gonna be uh, it's kind of steep. Dogs are really kind of good at hiking, but. Yeah, it's actually down that way. You go down and then it cuts down and then back across. And you can actually see it from down here if you, if you want to take a look. The waves are nice and strong, pushing pretty hard.
Penny. There's a giant gaping hole in the fence. <laughs> He's like, let me go check it out for you guys. Put the camera on me, I'll come back, I promise. box up there. you see in the way way back are the Molokai Islands. It's a, it's a state bird sanctuary and this one is also a state bird sanctuary. It's called Manana. Got Waimanalo Beach and Sea Life Park. It's where we did the dolphin tour. And the giant vastness of the ocean. Of the hike. 